Welcome to Wait Till You Hear This. I'm Steve Eastman. A couple of months ago, we told you about how John Duarte, president of Duarte Farms in California, was facing a $2.8 million fine for plowing his own land. Now it turns out the penalties could have reached up to $45 million. John's attorneys at Pacific Legal Foundation have graciously given us permission to include excerpts from their latest YouTube video in this report. It's called Hundreds of California Jobs at Risk Because of Government Regulations. In the video, we see John standing alone in a greenhouse. In 2012, we planted wheat in a wheat field during a global food crisis. The government made mistakes, never gave us a hearing, told us to cease and desist farming our land, made accusations that were false. As I said in my last report on Duarte Farms, the feds argue that the seasonal puddles appearing on John's land qualify it as a wetland, or to use another term, a navigable waterway. They further contend that when he plows several inches deep, John creates, and I'm quoting here, small mountain ranges. The feds say these mountains, which any rodent could cross in a second or so, are dry land, interfering with the nature of the so-called wetland. In other words, John can't do anything without federal permission. Since we've stood up to them, have filed a retaliatory lawsuit against us. The government is hurting a lot of good people. And those people, of course, include John's employees. Because I work in accounting, I see how important it is for our employees to get their paychecks. I wouldn't have been able to buy my home without my job here. My dream is to help increase food production for the world. If I lost my job, I would be devastated. Those nice people you just met could have lost their jobs if John had not reached a compromise with the feds just a few days after the video was released. John has agreed to a more than million-dollar settlement but is not admitting liability. A judge is expected to approve the agreement in about six weeks. It's nice to know the employees of Duarte Nursery get to keep their jobs, but government overreach is still an ongoing threat against the citizens of America. This is Steve Eastman for Wait Till You Hear This. Discover more stories like this one on our website, waittillyouhearthis.com. 